So hey there, girl travelers, welcome back. Um, I am in Calcutta, India. Now, one thing I find as a travel blogger is that I really am attached to my internet. I'm always on social media and because I need to upload things, um, you know, and I'm scheduled to upload them, I kind of need internet badly. So when I arrived into Calcutta and I realized that my hotel didn't have internet anywhere in the vicinity, there are no internet cafes that I could run to. It's, it was like this whole first world problem. I recently got my new Indian SIM card. Um, this means that I can finally surf the internet. Even though I got my Indian SIM and a data plan, my whole conundrum was how am I going to get internet onto my laptop? And what if all the other hotels that I go to or guest houses that I go to don't have Wi-Fi either? And I freaked out for a moment. So today I thought I'd go ahead and talk to you about cell phone hotspots, aka mobile internet, um, and USB internet sticks. I have an iPhone 5C. Great thing about my iPhone is that it allows me to use my phone as a hotspot. Now there are many um, smartphones out there that kind of allow that capability and you'll have to check with your settings. But my settings, uh, this is my mobile hotspot if I'm on turn it on. This Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are off. I need to turn them on so I turn them on. Now my mobile hotspot on this iPhone is activated and um, if I want to go ahead and hook in my laptop then I will have to use this Wi-Fi password right here. On my laptop, I will look for the name of my iPhone, which is conveniently labeled iPhone 3. I'm not sure why there's three, because this is my only one. If you notice here at the top, it's, it says personal hotspot, one connection. That means I'm ready to surf the internet. So let's pop up open. And there we go. There we go, that's internet. The 3G speed is pretty darn fast, actually. But that's how you hook, hook up your personal hotspot. If you don't have a phone that allows you hotspot capabilities, then I would definitely get a mobile hotspot. I think Huawei is a popular brand, and I think the reason why I know this is because a friend of mine has it, and he's just constantly traveling and using it all the time. He swears by it. The third option is to have a USB internet stick like this. Um, I actually got this in Malaysia and it is an unlocked USB internet stick. If you buy a MiFi or an internet stick, one big thing to note is that it's unlocked and that you can use it in different countries. I know in past years India sold um, internet sticks. And they sold these internet sticks which you could use to plug in and surf the web on your laptop but the thing is it was only locked onto India's service providers. Now whatever SIM card you get I always recommend to save the little outer shell. These days it comes in three different sizes. You've got the regular a mini and smaller than that you've got the nano. My iPhone fits a nano however my USB internet stick fits the regular size. The way you use a USB internet stick is you place your SIM card in this little slot right here. Mine pops open an application in which I can use to search for the signal on this, um, on this SIM. And once it's connected, it'll let me know that it's connected and then I can go ahead and surf the web. Most of these internet sticks come with that app already included on it. There, it's looking, looking. So, hopefully that was helpful for you. Uh, if it was, give me a thumbs up or like, subscribe to my channel, and until then, travel safe, smart, and fun. May the girl be with you.